temporary tattoos are about to get a lot cooler, or at least a lot weirder. The following trends of temporary tattoos in recent years, you know, sometimes they look more like jewelry or some kind of other device. These ones actually are. They're called duo skin, and they do look a lot like the metallic. Some of them look like the metallic yeah. ones that girls wear at festivals or that you see at the store for $5 and you think about buying if you're me. Um, but they do something a little more. Let's take a look. So we are able to create three classes of devices. The first class is input devices to turn your skin into a trackpad or a controller to adjust your music player. The second class is output displays. For example, a rose on your skin that would change color based on your body temperature or a fire that would light up to show your emotion. The third class is communication devices, such as NFC tags, so you can read data directly off your skin. We can even enhance the aesthetics of existing metallic temporary tattoos by embedding LEDs. Well, that's pretty cool. Some of it doesn't seem incredibly useful. Yeah. Like the output one that reads your emotions, like the one that lights up when you feel emotion, that's also called blushing. Yeah. Um, I would like one, it mentioned in this article, I don't think it was shown, but showing your significant other that you're angry. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I get it, but if it's just if it if it's based on like your bio, you know whatever's going on, your vitals essentially, uh -huh. um, and your emotional response and how that changes, like what's happening in your brain. Like, I don't want yeah, I don't want people to know that at all. I, I don't. I'm actually okay with that yeah. because I mean I think it's been pretty clear. If you know me, or if you've watched the show a lot, I don't hide my feelings. No. It's not that I can't. It's because I won't. Because right. I want you to know. It's like this, I took me till the second watch on this yeah. to see that there are actually wires coming out because I was like, where is the power coming from? How are you communicating mm -hmm. with the trackpad? But it's it seems like then they have the two like connection, contact points that you then pull out. I kind of dig out. it though, like the aesthetic. Yeah, I mean, that's it a looks thing. It's kind of like this kind of almost cyberpunk future sad times, but it doesn't have to be, it could be uh, euphoric. It doesn't need to be like this terrible future where we're all cyborgs and connected. I think it looks kind of badass. I want the subcutaneous ones, my friends. I want to, beneath the skin tissue, oh, like make it so that my bones line up, light up. You like want it, like a green skeleton or yeah, something? Yeah, like boop. Just, I don't know if you can see it, but down on my arm, like a boop. Mm -hmm. And then my my hands, five fingers, and it'll just be a green, red, blue. Are you just trying and to that, look like a scary, weird skeleton? Yeah, kind of. I want some kind of modifiable, un, you know, basically turn under your skin into a canvas. Oh. And you can then, as the trends change, So you change can be it. beautiful on the inside. Yeah, but you can see it on the outside, which is important. <laughs> I don't know, but I do think it's cool. I like, I like the NFC tags mm -hmm. where you're just like, this is what I, this is what I bought. So I just walk walk through a thing, and it's like, all right, I did it. It would save time. You'd have to explain it a lot, though. <laughs> this tattoo is my movie ticket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cool. It's yeah, and and now people, it's up to people to do kind of a figure out what the uses to of it are. To find a real cool use for it, besides, I can control my music. I Which like you, that. It's cool, but you can do that with your phone pretty easily now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's it's a beginning of something. I think there could be some cool applications for this in the future, perhaps. Yeah, for sure. stylish, so I, I, I appreciate that part too. It's just like all that stuff where now you don't need a device because it's always on you. Like mm -hmm. if, that, if this is your keys, if this is how you get into your house, you know you don't need to carry extra keys because I'm always misplacing those. It, my phone, if it's across the way, if I can just, and a lot of this, the discussion is, it, does the answer need to be in your body or in the device you're trying to control? So if it's like changing the controls on the TV, I know there have been ads during the Olympics of, at least in your car, doing this to change the channel, just a motion-activated change of it. And I know that there's a lot of motion-sensing televisions they're putting out and game systems. So it, this is another an possible answer where if it's just like your hand then becomes the, the thing you swipe mm -hmm. to change stuff around you, I think that would be super cool. The same way that putting it all in your phone was a good solution. Now you can put it on your body. I hope it's waterproof. 
is what I have to say to that. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, yeah, it could be really cool, or it could be like a sad future, like Wally, in which we are all incredibly lazy mm -hmm. and need convenience, even though we don't really need convenience. Audience, do you like Duo Skin? You can read more about it on MIT's website. They did develop this with Microsoft, which makes me think that there is some really solid backing in it. Uh, let us know what you think below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.